Not long ago, uh, my friend who is from the States okay. made a complaint to me that most of the tour guards try to hit on their clients, especially when they are females. Have you experienced that ever in your business? The slave river is where our ancestors took their last bath. Wow. Before they were sent to the Cape Coast castle. No, the Cape Coast dungeon. It's not a castle because castle sounds something very fancy, like something very comfortable. For you to know your roots, for you to know more about your history, these are a must seen places you have to visit. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Nis Experience here again, and today I am here with Gold Star Premier Thors, a Yay. fine gentleman who started a tour guide business here in Ghana. Welcome, Kofi. Ah, my brother. Thank you very much. So, for me, I know you very well, mm -hmm. but then my audience don't know you. So, mm -hmm. do you mind telling us about yourself? Oh yeah, yeah sure, that's fine. Um, thank you very much for having me here today. Mm. As you know me, I'm Samuel Kuma. You can address me as King Kofi, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm Kofi because I was born on Friday. A male born on Friday is called Kofi. Right. So Kofi is all about or Samuel Kuma is all about a young guy who lives here in Ghana and he's the fan of Gold Star Premier Tour Company. The whole or the agenda of Gold Star Premier Tour Company is to host his brothers and sisters from the diaspora who love to come back home to show them the beauty of Ghana. To take them to the beautiful beaches, the beautiful hotels, try the good food, like know their culture and roots. So that's the whole idea about Ghost Star Premier Tour Company. Just welcoming my brothers and sisters from diaspora, just welcoming them home and show them the peace and the love here in Ghana. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or in Africa, let me say that. Yeah. And how, how is the experience going so far? Um, very beautiful, like learning new things, sometimes very challenging, but you know, it's all part of the journey, you know. Mm -hmm. But in all, just very beautiful. When was the last time you hosted an experience? Oh, um, this December I did like two times. So oh, okay. uh, I've been busy like this, you know, December, you know, because we're approaching Christmas and a lot of people are coming in. So, so where, where are most of these tourists going to? Yeah. Okay, first of all, Accra here. Let me see that because here is where the international airport is and mm -hmm. where, this is where they arrive first. Mm -hmm. So here in Accra and then the second place is in Cape Coast. Yeah, but I wish the international airport was in Cape Coast, but I think most of the people will be going straight mm, to Cape Coast because of yeah. the slave dungeons, the Elmina that sorry, the Elmina dungeons, Cape Coast dungeons and the slave river, you know. So most of the people love visiting. I didn't I didn't, I didn't even know we had something like slave river. Really? In Cape yeah, Coast. we do. We do. You know, let me say a little a bit about the slave river. Okay. The slave river is where our ancestors took their last bath. Wow. Before they were sent to the Cape Coast castle. No, the Cape Coast dungeon. It's not a castle because castle sounds something very fancy, like something very comfortable. So it's not a castle. No, it's a dungeon. It's, it's a dungeon that's it. Well, we should stop calling Call it a castle. castle. Hey guys, it's a dungeon, <laughs> not a castle. You know. So <laughs> just by the way, so okay. uh, the Cape Coast dungeon and the Elmina dungeon. So they took their last bath at the Asen Manso Slave River and Market mm. before they were sent to all this place to be kept for like three weeks to a month before they await for their boats. Yeah, so these are some of the major places or the key places you know, our brothers and sisters visit a lot. And mm. for you to know your roots, for you to know more about your history, these are a must seen places you have to visit. Mm. Yes, I, feel, I, feel, I feel so much disappointed in myself because I was raised in Cape Coast what? and I didn't oh. even know that we have something hey, called you have to the a slave. Oh. Have to <laughs> you, you have to kill you. Please to. do. No, do. I, I really encourage you I to do I'll that. I have to learn my And sometimes history. I won't blame our youth a lot because some of these things are not taught well in our schools. So mm -hmm. it mm -hmm. really happens. You know? So it's mm -hmm. fine. But since we are now getting to know more about our roots, our history, it's good we you know, tell our youth or our kids like, hey, this is where our sisters you know, went through this how the punishment and this how they felt mm. so hey just go there learn more about yourself and then just be well empowered mm. because knowledge is power personally i've been to the cape coast castle mm. or dungeon dungeon the cape coast dungeon, dungeon. Yeah, like, i mean a dungeon yeah not a, a, castle. a couple of times, times. and mm -hmm. the place was too heavy for me yes whenever yes. whenever i keep hearing the stories yeah, yeah. that that were told when they showed me the door of no, no return, return i was i was amazed mm -hmm. to push all these group of people through this mm -hmm. just tiny, mm -hmm. tiny door. door. And then that was the last time our, our great grandparents, mm -hmm. our ancestors saw yeah, the continent. Yeah, that's true. And right. 
I think um, I, I've visited you know, all those places like several times, countless, which I can't count. But there's only one particular room which I, I would say, oh, always cry, you know, or like I feel very emotional whenever I enter this room, which is the condemned cell or mm. the male condemned cell or the, the male cell. I, I always cry whenever I visit that particular room because. The whole idea of that cell is to just to kill our ancestors. Those who are mm. trying to fight back. Mm. They are being kept into this room. They were considered rebellious. Rebellious with no fresh air, with no food, no water, just to die inside. And then their body be laid down for them to see like as a set of example for them. Wow. So I I always cry, you know, or like, you know, tears always drop whenever I visit that particular room. But in general, it's an emotional, you know, trip, like, or emotional um, place to to um, visit. But that particular place in general, or that room in general, hey, bro, it really makes me, like, you know, feel very, very down. Mm. To, because I, I always feel like, supposing I'm in their shoes, like, supposing I'm there now. Well, like, hey, you know, just, just the imagination mm. itself is somehow a, a different feeling. No, yeah, so I really encourage you know, you, you to you know, like tell your you know, people to go there, you know, yeah, especially go then, learn our roots. Yeah, yeah. Go, yeah, go back to your roots, it's, you know, like the Sankofa, you know, that's that, that educational, that, that, that's it. Yeah, never that's feel it. bad to you know, go back to, to your roots or root. correct your mistakes, you know, yeah. yeah. Thank you so much for that. Ah, you are welcome, my brother, you, you know, you are welcome, my brother. So, like, how, how do these um, um, tourists that you host usually? rate you do they like their experience with you yeah so what i can say is hard works or good work speaks for itself right so mm-hmm. um because of my good work i've been awarded like three times on trip advisor mm-hmm. both 2020 2021 and 2022 that, I is, think. that is good news for my brother <laughs> good <laughs> news is, for us you know is, yeah because yeah. i'm also coffee so uh, anything, also anything coffee. for coffee is also yeah for me. us you know and know there's so many coffees here in ghana <laughs> so like how long have you been in this this business okay um i started in 2016 ending or early 2017 but mm. professionally um in 2018 yeah 2018 and then that's where i had my official two guests from mm. the states and i did about 10 days trip with them but initially i was just doing like only in kumasi because kumasi is where i was born and raised and that was where i was working before as a hotel manager for next manager so in 2018, that's where I started exploring more to Cape Coast, Volta region, Eastern region, Accra. Mm. So in 2018, that's where I started professionally until now. Yeah. No. Oh, okay. You mentioned that you were working with a hotel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the hotel introduced you to the tourist business. Yes, let me say that because okay. I was the front desk manager. So yeah, we had a guest, which the guest was interested to you know to around in Kumasi. We didn't have anybody, so the management and the manager Joshua Mafo and they really encouraged me to like to just take the person out and then whilst i did by the end of the day I had a very good rate from the guest like mm. just the passion was there and you know how i i took very good care of it like it wasn't something you were planning to do no, it just happened no, to you it just happened on the way because i was working in someone's you know a mm. property or someone's hotel and a guest came and like i need a tour guide mm. and luckily for me i was free that day oh i was off let me say that so i just took the person out and the person really loved the vibe, you know. Mm. And he, she wrote a review, and the review was great. So um, I, I treat my business as my family, you know. I treat my business as my life, you know, because once you have the passion for something, you put in everything mm-hmm. in it. And my business is, is my passion, it's my life, because I have dedicated about 90 percent of my life to you know my business are you married oh no no i'm not married oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. do, you have, do you have kids do you no have kids? I, I don't have kids i'm not married i'm single so, so yeah. do you do you plan on ex- expanding your business yes yes very soon which is next year let me say that in 2023 we are expanding our tourism industry to togo benin and nigeria wow so we'll be doing four countries at the same spot okay. yeah so ghana togo benin and nigeria and nigeria, nigeria. Yeah, okay. there'll be a group package out there very soon. Okay. So will you be the same person to take these people to Togo, Nigeria? Yes, yes. Oh, okay. like, I, I do everything myself for now. Not long ago, uh, my friend who is from the state okay. made a complaint to me that most of the tour guards try to hit on their clients, especially when they are females. Mm-hmm. Is it true? Have you experienced that ever in your business? 
like try to hit on them yeah try to hit on them flirt with them no. they don't even care whether they are married or not I like know. do you have you ever no. experienced no. that no. do you include food in your package yes i do i do a fully packaged trips mm -hmm. from airport pickup from accommodation Airport pickup yeah yeah i do airport pickup accommodation but wow. with meals I find it difficult sometimes to include meals in my package because some people are vegetarian okay. and it might be very difficult for me to tell unless you ask and I don't know so with meals I don't include lunch and dinner but what I do is I recommend good restaurants. Okay. I'm very sure that you have a long list of restaurants and, oh, yeah. and uh, hotels. Uh, uh, is, uh, is it part of your job to do all of that too? You know, uh, as a guy, you have to have an idea of all these things mm -hmm. like hotels, restaurants, the vegetarian um, restaurant, the normal ones, pubs, nightclubs, you know, okay. you know like the festivals. Okay, okay, so you okay. have to have all this on board so that you can be well, you know, um, knowledgeable you know whenever a guest business. asks why should a tourist book you okay so that, that's a very good question mm -hmm. and an easy answer I can give you because um, I'm a native here in Ghana mm -hmm. I know my roots very well my prices are very affordable very reasonable and I take you to the very good spot you need to go and you need to know and also we have the passion for our job yeah you have the passion, passion for, for a job. job. Yeah. That that is the key point that I will take. Yeah. I will take from this. You have the, the passion, passion. Yeah. for your job because mm -hmm. that that does everything. Yeah, everything. Uh, that passion everything. just drives everything. Yeah. That does everything. For you to go to any mall to do everything for your guests. Yeah. So what is a major investment you've made or one major investment you've made with this tourism business? Okay, so <laughs> I I'll say I've uh, I've now invested into farming. Um, which is cocoa farming. I have um, wow. five acres. Wow. Yes, I have five wow. acres of, of cocoa farm I'm now wow. working on. Yeah. Cocoa is one of the most difficult things to, yes. to take care of. Yes, so you, you know. must you must really be patient <laughs> to <try laughs> Yeah, that you know. I wasn't into farming until COVID came up. So when COVID came up, it taught, it taught me a lesson like, hey, you have to get a side business. <laughs> you know? <laughs> okay. Yeah, so, so just assume there's no tourism. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? You do everything on the farm yourself, or you have people. Oh, no, uh, I have workers who works on it. Yeah, oh, okay. I have workers, and I do. I I, uh, I do go there myself to check or inspect on it. Okay. Yeah, but I have workers who permanently works on it. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So guys, you stay tuned. I will be going to Kumasi to meet Kofi mm -hmm. and then uh, show you his farm <laughs> yeah. and all the progress he has made on his farm. So stay, <laughs> stay tuned for sure, that. Sure. Sure. Uh, I'm very happy to have you in Kumasi mm. and definitely take you to my farm to see how you know i'm currently working on things yeah i mean maybe i can take inspiration from there to all this <laughs> sure food is getting expensive because no what yes. nobody wants to farm everybody yes. wants to do sit like in the office and, and yeah, all and that. that's true now we have to encourage our youth to also go to agriculture because they think all the money is in the government mm -hmm. it's on the streets mm -hmm. it's in offices mm -hmm. somehow no the money is, is, is in agriculture, so we have to, you know, encourage our youth to look at that end as well. And if someone wants to reach want you, to reach me, okay. how does a person reach you? Yeah, so um, the name of my company is Gold Star Premier Tour Company. And you can find me on all social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, TripAdvisor, Twitter, mm -hmm. you know, everywhere. everywhere. Gold Star Premier, Premier Tour, Tour Company on YouTube, like everywhere. So that is it guys thank you so much for watching please check gold star premier tours out whenever or whenever you need their service and you can also recommend him to your friends abroad who are moving to ghana this december or even any other time yeah. his contact information will be in the description mm -hmm. His website will be in the description, so it'll be easy to find. And I know him personally, <laughs> and I trust him. And then you can hold me accountable uh -huh. if you don't like the experience. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good one. Until then, peace. Peace. Thank peace. you. <laughs> Thank you, bro. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.